Hey, Richard Young here. I'm just currently on the road down in the South Island traveling between a couple of workshops I'm running. And I've got our Epson P906 printer in my van that we've been using on the workshops. And I've just headed out here and to this amazing winter landscape. We've just had fresh snow all morning and I've decided what I'm gonna do is do a capture to print workflow um, on location in the van. So I'm gonna head out here, I'm gonna, um, shoot a winter landscape of some of the lovely snow covered trees out here and then going to come back to the van and try and print the image in the van. I've never tried to set up the printer in the van before, I've got 230 volt power in there so it is possible so uh, hopefully it can be done and um, I can get an image printed off here on location. I've just been walking around in this snow -color covered landscape, the snow is still coming down quite heavily out out here and it's absolutely magical. What I've been looking for is some form and structure within the landscape here and I found these lovely willow trees on the side of the lake that are just arching over. And I've just framed this up and I'm pretty happy with this composition just with the willow trees coming in from the left hand corner of the shot and just arching over the side of the lake. And there's quite a lot of snow on the um, trunks of these willows which is just really, um, highlighting that form and structure of the trees. I think it's going to make a really pleasing print and I'm excited to get back to the van and print this image. I'm not quite sure why I thought this would be a good idea but I've decided I'm going to do it. So here's the printer that's been in the box in the van. It's been sat on the driver's seat all night while I was sleeping in the back of the van. So let's set it up and um, yeah, see if we can produce some prints. <laughs> After a much needed cup of tea to warm up my hands, I've managed to unbox the printer, which took some serious reorganization of the van. And I've downloaded my images um, into Lightroom. And I've gone through and I've selected a couple of the images that I think will look really nice as some prints. So uh, let's jump in and have a look at these couple of images that I've selected and um, do a quick process on them. And then I think I'm gonna have to move the printer around here to be able to print them because I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to open the sheet feeder with it up here. This is the first image. So I went down to the side of the lake there and uh, there was these lovely overhanging um, uh, willow trees, which is this lovely sort of sinuous shape of the willow trees overhanging. And then there's one center branch out over the lake. So I think this is gonna make a great print. It's got some great structure and form in it. And um, I'm just gonna jump in and do a real quick process on this image. So just looking down over the image and looking at the histogram to st start with, I can see I've got a bit of room there on the right hand side of the histogram. Definitely want to fill that right up because um, all these whites um, and the white of the snow should obviously be white. So that's the first thing that I'm going to um, just approach there. But before I do that, I'm just going to change the camera profile to the camera neutral. I normally prefer the neutral profiles rather than the Adobe profiles. And then I'm just gonna jump into the tone curve here and I'm gonna bring across my white point just to set my overall white point of the image there. And likewise with my black point. So that's just given me a bit of a starting point of this image. Um, and I don't reckon it needs a huge amount of work, this image. I'm going to maybe just bring up the mid-tones a little bit just to brighten the whole image because it is meant to be a very bright scene. Just looking in here, th this is looking really nice now. If we compare this to the original image, I've a lot closer to a nice pure white now. I'm just going to bring those up a little bit more actually. So that's looking pretty good and I, I'm not sure I want to do too much more to this image actually. I think it's pretty good out of the box. Um, there's just a couple of ducks sat there in the lake. Might just use the spot removal tool to remove those as I'm printing this image. Just take those out with the spot removal tool there. Just uh, don't really need two ducks in the lake there. <laughs> I think that's pretty much how I envisioned it when I was shooting it and I don't think it needs a great deal of work to get this to where I want it. So um, 
I'm, I'm happy with that image as it is there. So I'm just gonna jump across to my next image, which might require a little bit more work. This is an extremely low contrast scene. So this is of um, these gorgeous two silver birch tree. So, and it was snowing really heavily when I took this image. And um, as you can see from the histogram, it's pushed right up to, to the right hand side. And it's not overexposed. It's actually all within the borders of the histogram but I've just shot it right the way to the right just to get as much detail in the image as possible but what I'm going to have to do with this in processing now is just back it off a little bit just to bring out some of those nice mid-tones within that tree. So first of all I'm just going to jump into the camera profile again like the other one I'm going to change this to the camera neutral which is just going to make it a bit flatter we can see that's backed off the histogram a little bit. What I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to reduce the exposure down on this image and I'm going to reduce it down by about a, a full stop. And then I can see we've got this big spike here which is all the bright tones so I'm just going to back off the highlights as well and just compress those highlights in a little bit more as well. So that's given me sort of a good starting point there and then I'm just going to jump into my tone curve and set my white point. So I pulled this back with the uh, exposure slider and now I'm just going to bring it back over just to get that right over to the edge of the histogram just there. Now I'm just going to pull my black point in a little bit. Now if I was to set my black point all the way, I'm going to end up with this really contrasty image. And this is not the way I saw it. I saw it as very much as a very high key image. So I'm, I'm just going to bring it into the point that the darkest black that I want in the image, which I think is probably no more than that, but even still the image is looking very dark. So I'm just going to drag up this center of this, this tonal curve. I might just have to back that off a tiny bit there. And cool, this is getting really to how I saw it when I was shooting it, just that very sort of high key look. Um, this real lovely snow white here with just the trees just coming out of the snow. So I might just bring up that, that a little bit more and just tweaking that black point a little bit more. Just going to keep tweaking this just until I'm sort of happy with that general tones of it. So we look at the histogram. I've got this right over to the right hand side and then just from the mid tones through to the um, pure white. And I, I'm not sure if I want it too much darker than that. I could darken it off a little bit there. But I think somewhere about there is as dark as I want those dark tones because otherwise it's just going to become very contrasty. And there wasn't a pure black in the landscape. It was very bright out there. The snow was coming down. So I think that's pretty much how I want it. And um, there's these lovely just little um, uh, branches of an old tree coming up out the corner here. I'm really happy with that. The one thing I might just change now is the overall colour tone of the image. It's feeling a little bit warm at the moment. So I'm just going to grab this temperature slider and I'm just going to pull this down just to get that sort of cooler feeling because it was a very cold day and I want the image to reflect that. The only other thing that I can see that I want to tweak slightly is it's just a little bit of warmth across the bottom just from these foreground grasses. So I just want to just take that warmth out of those foreground grasses. And to do that, very simply, I'm just going to bring in a graduated filter across the bottom of the image. Nice and soft there. And so that will get all of that area. And turn the overlay off. And then I'm just going to zoom into this area. And I'm just going to cool this down a little bit more. And I might just desaturate it a little bit as well, just to take the presence off of those um, grasses there. So just a very subtle adjustment, but I just felt my eye was going down to those grasses and it no longer is. So I think this is looking really nice. and I think this is almost ready to print. Just having a look at the edges of the image. Just I've got a fairly good edge to um, the print, even though it's so bright. There's still actually an edge there. The brightest part is obviously in the middle there. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. So um, I've processed that and the other image. So um, I might just move the print around here and then see how I jig this around and, uh, and see if I can print them here in the van. Right, 
I've officially managed to do it. I've managed to plug in the printer, powered it up, I've run a nozzle check, it's all good. And let's see if I can actually print these images. <laughs> so I've loaded a sheet of um, cold press bright into the printer. Um, I think cold press bright will be really nice for these um, prints. Just one, the cold press having that texture and two, the bright having that bright white, which works really good for snowy images. Um, so I'm just gonna print off the first one so uh, I'll just jump into the print module here in Lightroom and just select one of my templates. Cool, that's all good to go. Um, do, 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 do. There we go. Let's see if it works. <laughs> Is there enough power in the van to power the printer? Oh, it's sounding hopeful. That didn't quite work. There's enough power to power the printer, but the laptop just ran out of battery. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to plug in the laptop and try again. <laughs> now I'll plug the laptop in as well. The inverter doesn't seem sound too happy. It's now running the laptop and the printer, but it seems to be working. So let's try again. And hopefully this time it will work. It's printing. Cool. Look at that. First print off. Da -da. So, it's official. You can run an Epson P906 and a laptop off the inverter of a VW Camper. <laughs> right, I'll get the next image printed. Second print's just coming off, and I think it's just finished. There we go. And there we have it. Success. Um, so, I'll have a look at this image first, so um, yeah, no, this is looking great as a print. I've just managed to get it under the light here on the back tray of the printer, and um, yeah, lovely, lovely detail in all these highlight areas, and those lovely structured shapes of the um, trees there. I think it's been a really good choice, the paper choice, using that cold press bright to um, for the nice bright white tones, but then the texture really actually adds sight to the image. For a sort of fine art style image like this, it does actually add sight to the image. And I think this is even more the case on this one here that's just come off the printer, the one of the silver birch trees. This is a very subtle image. It's probably quite hard to see the print properly um, under this lighting and all, but it's a very, very soft, subtle print and it's absolutely beautiful, delicate details in here. Um, and it's got a real fine art look to it and that's what I was envisioning when I was out there capturing it. And uh, the pretty cool thing is, I can actually see those two silver birch trees through the window just there and literally, <laughs> That's them. <laughs> um, I might even try and turn the camera around so we can see them. I thought the video wouldn't quite be complete unless I went and tried to find where I shot these two images. Um, I think the prints are going to get a little bit environmentalised in this process. We've already got wet glove marks on the side of them, but I've also got wet boots. Um, in the chaos of doing all that, I knocked my gum boots out to the side of the van to get some more room and they filled with snow. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna go and try and find these two images. I thought it was these silver birch trees here, but there's a crooked bit in the top of the silver birch tree and it's not there and there's three of them and there's only two in the image. So it must be a bit further that way. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack actually, but um, hopefully <laughs> I can find them. This one was a bit easier to find. I knew where this was. Um, <laughs> um, the prints are definitely environmentalized. I might have dropped one of them on the way over here. I sort of slipped over in the snow. Um, <laughs> uh, I still haven't found the silver birch trees and my camera's about to run out of battery because I didn't even bring a spare battery with me because I quickly ran out of the van and it's only 45 minutes to sunset. Actually half an hour to sunset and I want to shoot sunset so I'm going to run back to the van and give up on the hunt of the two silver birch trees. 
these prints are kind of getting destroyed now. Um, so I thought I would fi finish off the environmentalization process. That one had some snow in the foreground. So there's the snow in the foreground. This one's got a lake level up to here. So just, just about there, that's perfect. So there'll be a nice watermark across that one now. So fully environmentalized. Um, I think I might actually have to do something with these two prints. If you comment on the video, um, you can go in a draw to win one of these environmentalized prints. They will officially be um, a one-off because they won't be able to be reproduced because they've got glove marks all over them and watermarks and snow. So um, just comment on the video and you can go into the draw to win one of these two prints that are rather wet and snowy. I'm halfway back to the van. It's now snowing really, really heavy again. And just want to summarize the video quickly in that, yes, you can print prints in a VW camper in the middle of winter in about minus five in the snow. Would I recommend it? Probably not. <laughs> um, my camera's complete chaos. There's boxes and paper and everything everywhere. I've got to sleep in it tonight. I've got to cook dinner in it tonight. I'm not sure how any of that's going to happen at the moment. But I made some prints and it was quite good fun in the process. If you enjoyed this video um, and would like to improve your photography, I run a number of photography workshops through New Zealand Photography Workshops. Head over to our website, photographyworkshops.co.nz. I also offer a fine art printing course, both as a physical workshop and as an online workshop. Cheers.